My name is Keith Comito. Uh, my background is in computer science and mathematics. I'm a molecular biologist, uh, co-founder of GenSpace. We decided to open up a laboratory here to bring um, DIY bio to the public. Recently, I've been working on a number of projects here, and one of the latest projects is a gaming system that enables you to control microbes using electrical fields. The project is uh, a joystick that controls the movement of paramecium and then an iPhone connected to a microscope that picks up the motion of the paramecium and uses that to play a game like Pac-Man. In the current Pac-Man game, what you're doing right now when you're controlling the paramecium is you're controlling their motions, which you see on the game screen, and they swim through little rings that are kind of like Pac-Man dots. So your aim in the game is to swim through all of the rings and collect them. Paramecia are very easy to cultivate. They're harmless, they live everywhere, they live in pond water. They come in different sizes, but they're quite small, much thinner than your hair. So the blobs that you see are approximately 400 times magnified. The reason we're using this microbe uh, specifically in this game system, it's very responsive to electrical fields. It's, it seems like the ideal organism to start off with. In addition to just adding kind of an element of randomness, it's more interesting to use uh, a real organism in a game like this. How we can cooperate with other organisms to achieve not just entertainment, but interesting art projects, interesting development, just to get people thinking about, oh wow, we can work with other organisms. Here we have several things coming together. So you've got the biology, you've got the, you've got the circuitry, you've got the programming, um, and everything is integrated. It allows many different types of people to play together that I think normally wouldn't. I really like seeing when a, like a child is playing the game and, and he sweeps the screen and gets out and has the same smile on his face that I had when I was playing you know, Atari and Nintendo back in the day. And it really reinforces the idea that this is something that can get kids interested in science and still be entertaining. It's pretty deep. <laughs> <laughs>